Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the 5th of September. I hope you're doing well and uh, let's see what we get for your energy this upcoming week. Um, so Aquarius, this is a general reading so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. And if you would like a personalized reading, just look at the description box below and you have all the details on how to book your personal session. So Aquarius, let's see what you have this week. And conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. Now this, I feel, has to do with a business venture that you may have. Um, or it has to do with your workplace, this has to do with your career, um, and it could be an end of a project or end of something that may have been a little bit difficult to handle for some time, and so conclusions are within reach. So this is good news. So this week, um, expect these positive changes, expect this um, work situation to come to a conclusion so that everyone can move on, or everyone can decide where to go from there, right? So it has been holding you up for a while, okay? This particular situation has been holding you up for a while. So I hope that um, you have a positive conclusion, okay? So let's see what the next card is for you. And it is emotions are running high. Emotions are running high. So Aquarius, just be very mindful of how your emotions may be affecting how you are seeing the situation. So when your emotions are running high, you're not getting a very clear perspective of the situation and you may in fact even jump into conclusion. So it's very important that you do not jump into conclusion about the other person or the situation, but to allow your emotions to calm down and then relook the situation. So do not take any action when emotions are running high. Um, do not allow like, you know, when you're feeling all hyped up to be where you make decisions is usually not a wise place to be in to make a decision. Wait until you're calm emotionally and then you are centered in your mind and then you can think clearly and you will not regret any decisions that you make. So be very, very mindful of this. Um, you may get fiery this week. You may have a lot of, you know, all this emotional energy coming up, a lot of thoughts, jumping to the conclusion, the sort of thing happening in, in your mind this coming week. So just be careful, right? So just be mindful, um, focus on your breathing, remain calm, and then you will find that you are able to get a better grip of the situation, okay? Now let's see what your um, third card Third card is Aquarius, and it is don't let your past hold you back. Now Aquarius, I feel like this... Uh, it's not the first time you're getting this card, right? Um, in the past few weeks, I feel like you've got this card as well. Will you allow your past to hold you back? Will you allow your past to dictate what you should be doing today? So if you keep going back to your past and talking about the past and reliving your past, you're not being in the present and neither are you living for the future, right? So the past is over. Just let it go. Don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Don't keep dwelling on it. Right? Don't compare the past with your present. That's no comparison. We're living in a totally different era at this point in time. So it's really important that you do not allow the past to hold you back. Right? Uh, making comparisons from, with the past. Right? Past people, past connection, past lovers even. Right? That can limit you in so many different ways. All right? So just be very, very mindful of this. We have a tendency to allow the past to hold you back. Um, that can prevent you from moving forward, prevent you from healing emotionally and mentally even. Okay, Aquarius, I hope that this, um, you know, gives you something to think about and uh, help you to move forward. Now, uh, the next three cards that we're going to pick are about future energies that are going to support you, right, incoming um, that can support you as you move forward. We want some inspirational energy. So let's see what we get. And have faith in your dreams. Right? So this is a very inspiring one. Have faith in your dreams. So if you have a dream about something, right? A new business venture, a new position in your workplace, have faith in it and keep on working one step at a time. Right? Do not rush the process. Allow, uh, show your commitment to your dreams because the more committed you are to your dreams, 
the more luck you create for yourself. All right, Aquarius, just remember that. Now let's see what other supportive, inspiring messages will be here for you this week as well. A time to give rather than take. A time to give rather than take. So ask yourself, what are areas of your life in which you can give? I feel this is more like an action card. Um, an action energy where you physically give. So physically give could be um, very strong energy coming in about charity, what you can do as part of your, um, maybe your, your daily ritual, or daily thing that you want to do, at, you know, for charity. Maybe volunteering your time, um, service work basically, okay? Very strong energy of this coming in. Uh, volunteer service work to do some physical action. The physical action is important. Uh, it's not so much about like like donating money for any charity. It's not so much about giving money, but you being there is important. Doing the physical work, okay? I get a very physical energy coming from here, Aquarius. Um, so let's see what the um, next one is. What do you need to release? Right. I feel this has a lot to do with emotional hiccups, emotional stress, emotional stuff that you're holding on to. So time to sit down, contemplate, ask yourself, what is it that you really need to release? Um, is it resentment towards people or situation? Is it unhappiness that you have that you are still, uh, still allowing it to control how you are feeling right now? Uh, or you're still allowing it to control how you are making your future decisions? Right, so important one this week to think about, okay? So Aquarius, let's pick one card for you from this particular fairy deck and let's see. We want a simple, straightforward message from the fairy deck for Aquarius. And here we go. Inner power, right? Inner power. So what does inner power mean? Inner power for you, Aquarius, is about remaining calm, is about having a mental balance, all right? And when this, you allow this mental balance to come to be your advantage, then you find that you will not react so quickly, you will not jump into conclusions too quickly. Remain calm, always um, sit back, right? Allow your thoughts to come in, but don't react on a first thought, allow them to just simmer, calm down, and then you have the clarity. That is your inner power, Aquarius. Okay, don't forget that. You can use it to your advantage in any of your life situations. You must remain calm, right? Do not jump into conclusions mentally. For you, it's a lot about mental work, okay? Because um, Aquarius, you, if you are able to hold your thoughts right to yourself and allow it to... Um, to kind of simmer, right? Let it cook a little bit so that you get this result and then you see much more clearly. That is your superpower, Aquarius. So um, remember that, right? So let's see what your soul action is. Whoa. Cards flew out. So I'm just going to read both because these two flew out. Okay. Um, first one is, when was the last time I danced freely? When was the last time I danced freely? Now, if you, um, our body is a barometer of what's really going on within our minds, within our consciousness. So if you have any uh, discomfort in your physical body, there's a big chance that it's actually a, a mind lock or your mind has gone into wrong thinking or emotionally you are holding on to certain energies and that's why they are stuck in a physical body. And this is how, um, for some of us, the physical uh, body can then create a lot of discomfort, right? Aches and pains and, you know, um, for some people, even diseases, right, can manifest. So you are asked to uh, move the energies in your body. So dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. Sometimes when we have some thoughts in our minds, it uh, does not mean that we need to speak it. All we need to do is dance, right? To allow the energies to move through so that you do not speak it 
at the wrong time, the wrong people at the wrong place, you allow the energies to just move through you <clears throat> in your physical being, okay? So um, we got two, right? So I'm going to read this to you. Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? Wow, these two go hand in hand, right? This is about physical energy in your body, what I talked about, your health, your well-being, what's in your thoughts, what's in your emotions that may be causing the physical discomfort. And this one talks exactly about that, about your health goals and where do you want to be right now? Why are you not there yet? Um, the why are you not there yet question is very important. Then it allows you to see where you are stopping yourself from getting well. Sometimes we unconsciously not allow ourselves to get well because we have some emotional um, baggage that we still need to clear and then it's stuck in the physical body. Okay Aquarius, I hope that this is inspiring for you and it will help you to make better decisions this week, help you to calm down and look after your health Aquarius. Okay, so I wish you a wonderful day, good luck and best wishes.